let's chat about some ways that you can know that freelancing is not the right opportunity for you. Even though I advocate for all the benefits of freelancing all the time, there are some people that it's simply not the right fit for, and there are a number of different qualities that can make for a really successful and happy freelancer. So let's talk about the three ways that you can know that freelancing is not for you. First of all, if you are terrible at disciplining yourself, you will struggle as a freelancer. That's because everything is all about the deadline. And if you're not able to keep up with the deadline and provide an amazing experience to your clients, you're going to get in over your head very quickly. If you can't discipline yourself to figure out how to get your work done, whether you have a full-time job or whether you're pursuing freelancing as your full-time job, you are going to let down your clients. You may even turn work in late. You may miss deadlines that cause them to be frustrated. You might also turn in work that is lower quality. So if you're not self-disciplined, freelancing is not for you. Now on the flip side, if you're great at doing projects on your own and you hate those dreaded group projects that you always get stuck with in school where one or two people end up doing all the work and you're one of those two people, then freelancing might be a perfect fit for you because you need to be extremely self-disciplined and motivated in order to make it as a freelance writer. The second way to know that freelancing is simply not for you is if you don't like working alone. Now, there's a difference between being self-disciplined and working on your own. Some people love being in an office environment. They love having the feedback from their coworkers, sharing jokes, going out to lunch with their friends, but for other people, they're perfectly happy being alone. Freelancers work alone a lot, like a lot, all the time. We're pretty much working on our own around the clock. Now, there's ways to pad in some interaction with humans throughout the day, like doing client calls, appearing on podcasts, having your own podcast, masterminding with other people, etc. But most of the time when you're working on client projects, it's going to be pretty quiet and you're going to be working on your own. So if you hate being alone and the sound of quiet drives you a little bit crazy, freelancing might not be for you. The third person who might really struggle as a freelancer is the person who is not comfortable creating your own paycheck. This is both the greatest blessing and the greatest struggle for any freelancer. You are responsible for paying the bills. The work that you do dictates how well you'll be able to pay your bills. So if you're not able to handle that fluctuation in cash flow, which always occurs for freelancers, or if you're not successful at converting your clients into working on a retainer, you will definitely struggle as a freelancer of any type. It can be really hard not being able to predict your income. One of my secrets to success has been working with clients on a retainer to produce a certain number of pieces or work a certain number of hours every single week. That gives you a lot of peace of mind that your income may only fluctuate upwards, right? Not downwards. So you always have time to plan if a client cancels and you can look ahead for your month to know what money is coming in. But if you're not comfortable with that and you prefer the security of getting a paycheck every two weeks, then freelancing might not be for you. There are so many advantages to being a freelancer and having spent the last five years as a freelance writer, virtual assistant, project manager, and now course creator, I love that I get to create my own paycheck, work by myself, and be self-disciplined to make sure that things get done on time. If that sounds like it appeals to you, I encourage you to check out one of my free courses. If you're interested in learning more about becoming a virtual assistant, check out VA 101, Why Now is the Best Time to Become a Virtual Assistant. And if you think you've got the writing chops to make it as a freelance writer, check out my free course on how to identify your ideal freelance writing niche. Hope to see you on the inside.